What's up everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States and I'm from Germany and we made it to beautiful Hamburg. So in this video we're going to take you on a food tour through the city. Los, ich habe Hunger. Let's go. All right, so I asked for recommendations and one thing that came up multiple times is a Franzbrötchen. So that's what we're trying to do to start the day with. Let's find a good Franzbrötchen. So one of my favorite things to do whenever we go to a different city in Germany is see what the local pastries are. And Franzbrötchens are popular to Hamburg and they're in this area apparently. And we have here is a regular Franzbrötchen. It's made with butter and cinnamon and sugar. And it's kind of inspired by, I think, a croissant, like the French croissant. It looks like a flat croissant. Yeah, it's okay. cool. There Go it is. Mm. Dude, this is totally my stuff. I freaking love cinnamon on pastries. I'm gonna get for comparing it to this, but like cinnamon toast crunch, but a better version of it. It's awesome. If you wanted a doughy, gooey croissant and not as fluffy, I think that's what this is. And I, I really like it. All right, so we have a second version of the Franz version, and that is the Streusel version. It's like crumbs on it. Tastes like Christmas. Yeah, it's you always say that with the cinnamon. Cinnamon, stuff. everything yeah. with cinnamon is so Christmassy to me. They have different versions apparently. There's one with chocolate on it, there's one with uh, crumbs on it, and then there's another one with uh, marzipan, marzipan but they didn't have that here. I think it's definitely good. It's If, if you're into these hardier, thicker pastries, this one's heavy. Holy smokes, this one is so much heavier. Mm. Which one do you like better, crumbs or no crumbs? I think I like no crumbs, to be honest. I like that one better yeah, too. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Okay, I think I give this one like an 8.5 out of 10. This is kind of my stuff. Cinnamon, pastry, and butter. <laughs> and this one I don't like as much, but I would still give it 8 out of 10. I think it's good. I'm so biased towards any like sugar dough. It's nice. I think Deanna is definitely the bigger dough and cinnamon fan here. She's finishing that up. The place we came to here in the morning to get that is, by the way, called Bakery and Deli. And I think it's definitely a good place to try the front bridge in if you're ever in Hamburg. She's so happy. Time to try a fish brooch in. So before lunch, we couldn't resist and we wanted to get some good old fish brötchen. So we're right at the Elbe River. I tried to figure out where to get the best fish brötchen in Hamburg. And one place that came up multiple times was called Brücke 10, Bridge 10, which is referring to the docks here. It's this little stall and there was a huge queue. There were 15 people in front of us queuing. It just took a couple minutes though. So we got one Matthias brötchen, which is super classic and it's a good budget option. Mit this Schwiebel. Matthias, the fish with a uh, onions for four euros and then we get the northern sea shrimp brötchen the nordsee krabben brötchen and that thing is 10 euros that is the most expensive bread roll i've ever had it actually in boston we had a lobster roll for like 25 but that's ridiculous <laughs> uh, i'm gonna start with the cheaper one the matthias brötchen got a good chunk of fish on there and onions mm. Mm. Well, it's super good. So the bread roll itself is pretty crunchy. It's not one of these soft ones, which is nice. And the fish tastes very salty. I like. I don't know how to explain it, but the best way to explain it is just it tastes like the ocean, but in a good way. That's what we always say. Yeah, that's a thick piece of fish. Yeah, they say the fishermen bring the fish here in the morning. There's some fish market going on, and they say this is like the freshest you can get it right here. So another bite that this one already very good start. It's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Mm -hmm. Wow. I sometimes get matches from the supermarket. This is so much better. This tastes so much fresher. Okay, but now for the moment of truth. 
I feel like I'm not good enough for this. Yeah, this is the type of food that's so expensive that I feel like I'm not worthy of that. I don't know, um, I've never seen shrimps looking like this. I'm just gonna try the fork of shrimp only first. Oh, it's interesting, it's very, very different to the matjes. The other fish hits you right away with a strong taste. This one is a slower taste, it creeps on you and it tastes very different. It's gonna go for the big bite now. I didn't even expect this. Now that I see it, I saw it on the menu. It features some tartar sauce, some remoulade on the bottom. Wow, and it mixes nicely with it. You gotta be careful. If you drop one of these bad boys, it's like euro down the drain. All right, so what would you give that one? I have to zone out the price. Without the price, I would say that's a seven out of 10. Okay. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. This is super meaty. Yeah. I like this. I think they're so small and together it almost tastes like a shrimp cake. You know, because oh. it's like a crab cake but a shrimp cake with a little bit of more moisture because they're so tightly compact. That's true. Yeah. And uh, they, they don't uh, screw you on the amount of mm -mm. shrimps at least. I mean, 10 euro, come on. Dude, I would give this like a 8, 9 out of 10. This is good. All right, now for the one with Schwiebel. Matjes and Zwiebel. Zwiebel. Look, it has a little tail. This one definitely tastes fishier, but yeah. not bad fishy. It's a little more raw fish, like a good sushi vibe. So better or worse? Ooh, I don't know. I think it depends on my mood. Yeah. I hate this better or worse thing. I want both of them depending on my mood. So don't what, make me choose. So what would you rate that? Oh, I think I would give this like an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's good. I'm really into fish sandwiches. All right, that was so good. I could totally see getting that as a snack if you're living in this area and you got some fresh fish. And some big dough. To be honest, if I crave a fish brötchen, the matjes is the one to go for. Yeah. But the other one was awesome too. It's just a little unfortunate how expensive it is. It might be the only one I've ever will I will ever eat in my life. I thought it was really good. I preferred that a little bit. It has this like crab cakey texture but not as fried, so it was nice. Time for more food. We're gonna have food babies today. All right, so finally lunchtime, and we came to this place called Alt Helgolander Fischerstube. And it's an old Helgoland. Helgoland is a peninsula or an island in Germany. We're also still on the Elbe River area. They are the fish markets are very close by, so they say they also get very, very fresh ingredients here. And we went for two hamburger classics, as we found out, the Hamburg Eel Soup and the Lapskaus. Funny thing, they have a tryout version of the Lapskaus on the menu, which is just smaller to try it out. I would assume a lot of people don't like it, that's why they would offer a smaller one. We're going with the smaller one. Yeah, also because we've eaten so much today. <laughs> you know we're at a decent restaurant when they have this nice napkins. You know what I'm talking about? It's like a paper towel, but thicker. And we got bread and butter, so I mean, wow. We'll live in a luxury. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the eel soup here. She just told me it's a meat broth and then they put a prune or plum. I never know which one's the right translation in there. Cook it with it. Ooh, and it smells very strongly like the prune or the plum. We also get three pieces of eel in there. Sometimes they don't even put real eel pieces in there, but here they do. It smells very unique, I don't know. I'll get some veggies on my spoon here and just gonna see how the broth tastes. Oh, wow, I never tasted that flavor before and it doesn't smell as appetizing but it tastes pretty good i can get into this it must be this prune flavor that goes into the the meat broth with the veggies is very nice uh, i would totally get this again i like that i'm a little surprised i was hesitant for that but ooh, that's that's a good soup I, I, I'm, I'm like lost for words here i don't know what to, how to describe this flavor i'm just gonna go for one of these eel pieces here oh yeah oh wow Woo! Dude, I love eel. I don't know if I've ever had eel before. Wow, super surprised by the eel soup. I want you to try that and tell me what that is. That's, wow, I get that again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this eel soup. Ooh, 
Oh, it's a nice clear broth. A lot of fresh veggies. I like carrots and onions in soups. Oh, I expected it to be super fishy, but the broth itself isn't crazy fishy. Yeah, what is it? It's very fresh. The prune? It tastes like a fresh broth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meat broth. <laughs> uh, all right, there's an eel right there. It's a nice little eel. I really like eel. I usually get eel sushi rolls. Those are my go-to. Oh, that's right. There's sushi eel, so I had that before. Yes. Mm. Good, right? Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's unexpected. I don't think I've ever had eel in soup before. I think the, the prune is giving it this little sweeter note. It's not super sweet, but it does have this like sweet and sour flavor going on yeah. in this. This is good. Next, we have lobskouse. Yeah? Yeah. Lobskous. The main attraction. The main attraction, which is pretty interesting looking. It kind of reminds me of Met a little bit with an egg. So we have this this meat mixture. It's meat with potato and onions and corned beef, right? Could be corned beef. Corn could be corned beef. And there's a nice fried egg on top. And it usually comes the side of beetroot, uh, pickles, and fish. A type of herring this one is. Yeah. Rollmops. Rollmops. You roll it. Yeah, I'm gonna start with this. Sure. Give some egg porn here. Wow. That's sehr schön. Going with egg. Yeah, right? Or should I, too late. I'm trying it with egg. I'm going in. I think you're just afraid to try pure. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, the drip. Alrighty. Alright, we'll give this a try. Whoa. What is it? Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does it have such a familiar flavor? That sounds good. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. It never looks super appetizing, but it usually tastes good. So if you just eat with your eyes only, you might be turned off by this, but I think it tastes really, really good. Dude, this is surprising. It's a very hearty flavor. It's not really sweet. Nice little fish. Got a little bit of green on my fish. Here's my roll. What is it? Roll mops. This is my rolling mop. That is a heartier fish. I love beetroots. Mm. 10 out of 10 beetroot. This is awesome. Alright, my turn. First ever Lapskaus experience as well. Right? Dude, it reminds me immediately of something. That's and what I don't I know say. what it is. I can't what remember. is it? Is it red cabbage? The Schwartenwurst maybe. It That's has like... a slight hint of the Schwartenwurst flavor. But but like a potato ear. Mm. And it's kinda got the shredded Ooh, meat going on. The wasp this year, dang it. I'm gonna try it with uh, with some egg. Wow, I can immediately tell that I like it a lot though. I'm surprised. This is good stuff. Very nice with the egg. Get a little bit of the fish here. Good roll mops. Roll mops is usually coming in a glass from the supermarket. We put it on a bread roll or on a slice of bread and uh, that's a super normal thing to eat too. This one tastes very nice. It's a good version. Definitely better than the one from the supermarket. I have an idea. Let me just try. Get a slice of the white bread here. Oh, here we go. And then we put some of this lapskaus on this. Maybe a pickle, some beetroot, a little bit of egg. Wow, this is what you eat for breakfast. This is how you eat this. <laughs> no, I just made that up. <laughs> Dude, it works. Everything works very well together. Coming here, eel soup and lapskaus. I was super hesitant about it. I thought I might not like it maybe, but both very nice, awesome. I would totally do this again. I will do this again. I will order both of these dishes again. So I just asked the waitress again about the lapsed cow. So apparently it's a beef breast that is cooked, finely minced, and then mixed with potatoes and onions and a little bit of beetroot juice. And pickles. It's all mixed together and the beetroot juice gives it that nice red flavor. And she said the seamen back in the day, uh -huh. they started <laughs> seamen. <laughs> <laughs> they started um, to make that in that consistency on purpose because they had bad teeth and they yeah. were not good at chewing. So they made it this mushy consistency that uh, some people are not the biggest fans of, but it was very, very good. And this meat is cooked, it's cooked first, a bit. so it's not raw meat. Yeah. Um, I think everybody should try it. It's absolutely totally. not disgusting. It has this upper reputation and I think wrongfully so. Good experience. I'm glad we tried it. Whew. 
All right, so that was our trying different foods in Hamburg. Let us know in the comments below which one of these food items is your favorite or what else we could try as long as we're here or going anywhere else in Germany. Any specialties, any weird food is, uh, we're up for it. Yes, totally. We're gonna do another video about a Hamburg vlog so you can check that out there. If you like these kind of food videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to your channel if you haven't already. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. A big thank you to all of our Patreons. With your support, we are able to make videos like these. So a big shout out to all of our Patreons here. Thank you guys so much for your support and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.